Hi, I'm Natalie Villalobos here at Big Android Barbecue in Hearst, Texas with Stacy Devino. She's an Android developer and I just wanted to ask her a couple of questions before we all depart the great state of Texas. Hey Stacy, how are you doing? Doing just fine. Ready for some meat. <laughs> so I see these pins on you. Can you tell me a little bit about the culture of these pins and how many years you've been coming to Big Android Barbecue? These are just the pins I have accumulated pretty much from this barbecue <laughs> and Google I.O. Uh, there was a big Android event uh, also held like as an after party. So uh, yeah, I've been coming, gosh, this is probably my fourth year, I, okay. I think. Yeah. Awesome. It might be fifth. And I so it's a tell. part of the Android culture to get pins from different companies that are represented at Android events. Oh no, this is this is a big Android thing. Yeah. This is not. It, but uh, no, it's 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 all about representation, and it's so fabulous that these guys actually support us. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. You have like Facebook. You have Golden Gate Bridge. You have some startups too that were also present. So it's really it's really cool to see yeah. that. Um, so I wanted to to get started. How did you get into mobile development? Like. Why Android? So I started really young um, with a Palm. So I first learned on Palm C in middle school because my dad worked for 3Com at the time. Um, and then that just kept on progressing and did stuff with iPods and then uh, initially some iPhone stuff, but we won't talk so much about that. But then Android came on the scene and they didn't call it hacking, they called it development. Mm. And that's what really attracted me to Android. And what was your first project that you were proud of, or maybe you even had challenges on, but that at the end of the day, once you solved for it, it was that, uh, that's when I, you knew I did your some, first love. So I did some work for um, the military and emergency services and put out a product by myself in a very, very short time frame that was mm -hmm. kind of revolutionizing for the industry. And I just, I literally worked 120 hours one week and 90 hours was my average. So. Uh, it was it was one of those things that I just was I couldn't believe I was capable of it and you can be amazed what you can push yourself through. Yeah. So ha when you're in those stressful moments, w what makes you calm or what or what is the tool that you use to persevere? Is it long walks on the beach? Is it uh... really? It's a belief that the world was basically revolutionized by people no smarter, no more capable than you are. So what's mm. stopping you from achieving what they did? And they're, they're, it's just an inner fire. Keep trying until you fail and then fail again. And then it, as long as time's still available, fail as many times as you can until you get it right. So one of the things that I love about you is that you're a maker in a lot of different capacities, right? So you're an Android maker, if you, if you were to say it <laughs> that way. But you also have been getting into a lot of 3D printing and you're a member of the Dallas Makerspace. Can you tell me a little bit why, about why making is so important? So making is the ability to take your ideas and make them tangible. And the ability to communicate and learn from people beyond just work, mm -hmm. beyond just what people might think that you should know. I mean, some of my best friends are both software developers and blacksmiths. Uh, things that you wouldn't actually consider, but it really gives you that, that this is only so satisfying sometimes. Sometimes you just need to craft something, do something creative. And you know, ultimately at the end of the day, you can't rely on your employer to 100% provide everything mm. for you in terms of creativity. You have to go and make yourself a multifaceted person. And that actually ends up opening a lot of opportunities at work. Yeah, so one of the things I just wanted to, to share with our developers at home. So uh, Stacy is also Women Tech Makers lead, and so she created us these really cool custom Women Tech Makers Android figurines. I'm going to be taking back to my desk in Mountain View. So speaking of that, your Women Tech Makers lead, can you tell me what you think the, the industry needs to do to support more women to come into Android development or to be a designer or maybe a founder of her own startup? So this is something I've actually talked about with leaders of pretty well-known companies. It's not that we need to encourage more. It's just that we need to discourage less. We just need to tell somebody hey, you know, it's okay. Something didn't go right. There's a lot of feelings mm -hmm. as a woman that you have to be everything to everyone. And when you say, it's okay if something had a bug, other person had a bug, you know, mm -hmm. two weeks ago. It's okay, you're gonna do well. So by actually not even just encouraging, but just don't, don't discourage them, you know? Yeah, and also don't give up, right? I think that failure is okay, but 
And I also think that when you're failing, having a supportive team that says, oh, yeah, I failed too. Right, it's it's almost like creating a supportive network of failure, so that no one actually leaves the, <laughs> the industry. The circle right? of failure. The circle of failure. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I think that you're right. When we when we create that kind of ecosystem and community, like Big Android Barbecue, right? All these people are here and are a supportive network for when you're developing something. Right. Oh, totally. I mean, I can't tell you how many times like I've seen Virginia's artwork paired with like another one of my friends. Uh, friends development skills and they just come out with this totally cool thing yeah. that they just did after work one weekend i mean and we see the same people at the same events but that's because they're our friends they're our network and when i have trouble with something i know exactly who to go to for that problem and it ultimately makes you a better developer and a better person too awesome well I know we all got to get down to the barbecue. That's what we came here for, besides Android yes, development. Meat. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you so much for coming out and talking to us, and thanks so much for being a great Women Tech Makers lead oh, as well. Thank you very much, Natalie. So Natalie Villalobos, again, uh, bringing some live insights and tips from Stacy uh, at Big Android Barbecue. I think this concludes our interviews for Big Android Barbecue, and just tune in more for Women Tech Makers sessions coming up.